Here's the story of how I sponsored a Japanese prodigy to go to a tournament. If you know anything about me, you know I love to study the Japanese scene. And ever since I picked up Steve, I got to learn a lot about Japanese Steve mains. One in particular really caught my interest because he's almost unknown and to me, his gameplay is extremely fascinating. He's practically always using Steve setups that not only have I not seen before, but they're very straightforward and simple. He does do a lot of advanced techniques that are difficult, but it definitely amazes me how he's always using setups, but also still playing the game fundamentally well at the same time. The way he plays Steve is like entering creative mode in Minecraft. Or maybe a better comparison is like if he were playing Tricky Towers in Smash Bros. Because of this, I studied his Steve a lot to take all his simple yet effective setups. Though I still need to learn his advanced stuff, I'm getting there. I caught him streaming live and that was my chance to talk with him. And he was very open to discussing with me. I could tell by his gameplay, he is a prodigy. He absorbed Steve tech and all he needs to do now is compete to improve his fundamentals to compete with the top. So I asked him in chat why he doesn't go to tournaments. And he told me he doesn't have the money for it. And this is where I thought it'd be a perfect opportunity to get a prodigy name out there. So I suggested if he got to rank 25 in the DK billboard, which is a number of global smash power that's hard to attain unless you're very good or if you play Steve. But nonetheless, I offered to pay for a local if he achieved that rank. And luckily, some of the footage of his journey was streamed and I'm able to show you highlights right now. Keep in mind, this stream had about 10 games of Steve and even though not every clip is a perfect crazy setup, it just goes to show what he's capable of. And if you play Steve, you can see right away how unique his gameplay is. The kicker to all of this is that not only is he a prodigy, but he's a secret prodigy. Because when he showed up to the tournament, this is what he looked like. So to this point, no one really knows his identity besides the fact that he goes by Plusko or Plusko-chan. Although he didn't perform as well as we hoped at the tournament because he got knocked out early, on the flip side, he was put in an amateur bracket, which he won entirely. And believe it or not, Failing in the main bracket and winning the amateur bracket is actually a very strong indicator of future success. Because that usually happens when someone's character has the development to perform well in main bracket, but the fundamentals aren't there with it. Because the lower level of play, the less they can handle character specific setups. So it's clear to me that Plusko-chan has the Steve abilities, but he needs to compete more for the fundamentals to catch up, and he has a very bright future ahead of him. So keep an eye out, not for this face, but for this name. If you want to see me sponsor another player, let me know in the comments who it should be, or if this is a good idea at all. As always, feel free to support me by hitting that DK thumbs up, spanking that subscribe button, and I want you guys to have a swell evening. See you in the next one. Huh? Pop star. I. D. E. K. O. S. O. S. I. N. E. So that's in there. I. N. E. n a m a y a s k i I. N. E. DA は Ah, 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 ah,
た<笑>危ねえオッケー。長っやろわきついにうわー最高あー違うのよー。死なやろ死んだわできないできない俺、反転空母できねえよ感じです。